Hey, what's up guys? Ben from My Sports Stop here with Richie Donnell. Today we're going to be talking about the Carolina Panthers draft class of 2017. Yeah, the, this watching the draft and watching what they were doing, it, it almost seemed like they were picking players to replace replace players. Right. So to so to speak. So it was kind of a it came across as a very scheme heavy draft. Yes. Uh, and, and I think that's got to start with the running back they took Christian McCaffrey, who very very late leading into the draft, it started to become a hot topic that that was their guy that they wanted. I wasn't sold on him at number eight. Um, as as you know, I'm not necessarily. You're sold not a big on, McCaffrey. I'm not fan. a big McCaffrey <laughs> fan. Um, but what he what he does add to them is is a, just another weapon for Cam Newton. Um, he's not necessarily just going to be a running back. He's going to be yeah. a running back, a receiver, a returner. He he's going to do it all. Uh, but the question, the only question I have is is at number eight, is it going to justify the means taking him that high? Um, you know, with what they're going to expect of him. Curtis Samuel is pretty much a carbon copy. Ted Ginn, uh, he's almost the same type of player that McCaffrey mm -hmm. is, but Curtis Samuel is probably going to line up on the outside. They're just going to tell him to run and go get it. Yeah. Um, and one of my favorite picks, though, that I thought was was huge for them, uh, Taylor Moten. He's probably going to end up coming in and being a starter from day one, uh, more likely on the inside as a guard than right. on the outside. Uh, but that was a very, very good value pick, a guy that was kind of creeping up there uh, heading into the draft. Yeah, uh, let's. I mean, I want to talk about McCaffrey. I I do like McCaffrey. Yeah. And it, you know, we didn't have him going that high. Right. Um. But you know, the Panthers obviously liked him, so yeah. they picked him there. But what I was confused about is they picked Curtis Samuel in the second round, another running back wide receiver right. hybrid like McCaffrey. Yeah. So that that was a bit of a head scratcher. I do think McCaffrey will be playing at running back, and Samuel will be playing at wide receiver. Yes. But two similar offensive weapons, right. um, and then with Taylor Moten, yeah, I think he's a, he's a good player. He's a good offensive tackle, but they needed a left tackle. Yeah, Moten's not a left tackle. Right. Um, he might he might be a starter, but he'll he'll never be playing on the blind side for them, and that's what they needed, yeah. in my opinion. And then finally, um, one of their biggest needs ever since Josh Norman left has been cornerback. Yeah. Um, in a cornerback heavy draft they they waited until the fifth round to pick a guy like Corin elder yeah i think elder can be a good player i don't think he'll be starting for them next right. year but um still a huge area of need for them yeah and, and another need for them was definitely uh that edge rusher after they they traded coney ely so charles johnson was the only guy they had uh signing julius peppers obviously loosens that blow i mean right you know, it, it cushions it a little bit but julius peppers only has so much football left exactly and they waited to get a guy deshaun hall who played opposite of miles garrett uh he's still a good football player but i thought that if they would have addressed like you said the need of that offensive line and that defense line a little sooner uh the draft grade would have went up uh i gave them a, a solid straight c just See. wasn't very uh, impressed with what Carolina did. Yeah, and I'm, I'm an optimist usually when it comes to this stuff. Usually some people say I, I give too high of grades. I'm going to give them a C plus. Um, I, I liked the Christian McCaffrey pick, okay. but then everything after that, it, it just left me scratching my head saying, yeah, but they could have picked this guy right. instead and uh, better fits. And like you said, it, they're they're picking carbon copies of, right. of people, and that's just not the way you should do it. You got to pick best player available. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to go to our website, mysportstop.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more original videos.